Hi, I am Anupal Bharali. I have designed this course in a special way to make it simple for you to learn those concepts of calculus that are needed for using it in physics and chemistry. I have over 25 years of teaching experience in teaching students like you who are between 14 and 20 years old. By qualification, I am a BE from Bits Pilani in Electrical and Electronics Engineering. You can Google about Bits Pilani and you will find that it is one of the leading engineering colleges in India. In my student days, my favorite subjects were computer programming, mathematics and physics. Combining my knowledge and my teaching experience, I have designed this course to teach you calculus in a simple way. If you do not like mathematics, or you find it difficult, you will love this course. Because from my experience, I have seen that calculus can be taught without teaching the difficult and confusing topics like functions, limits, etc. in details. You see, most courses on calculus start with detailed explanations of functions, limits, continuity, discontinuity and what not before starting to teach the actual calculus. By that time, you will start to find calculus difficult, confusing and boring. Now, learn calculus the way I am teaching you in this course. You won't find it difficult. You will be able to use calculus in different situations of physics and chemistry whenever needed. In this course, I have explained the concepts of calculus in a very simple way. dy by dx, the answer will be 6x plus 5. Now, it must have come to your mind how. And have also explained how to use it in physics and chemistry. Clear? Or d by dt of velocity is acceleration. So we have got one formula here. We have got a second formula here. These two you must remember. done so by solving quite a few problems of physics and chemistry where calculus has to be used. In addition, I have also explained how to use calculus to derive different formulas of physics and chemistry. In the topic thermodynamics, we arrive at a situation where we have to calculate the work done in a reversible process and the formula is this. I am going to explain how calculus that is integration is applied in this situation. So I think now looking at this you understand that this is a case of definite integration. In the book this result is given as n r t ln of v f divided by v i and they have not shown the calculations. Now when this topic is taught in the chemistry class, usually the chemistry teacher also tells you that if you integrate this, you will get this. He also won't do the calculations. Usually what he says is, this is mathematics, so do it yourself. I am here to teach you chemistry, so I will concentrate on the chemistry concepts. He is right in his place. He is teaching chemistry. Right? Sometimes it happens that if you take this problem and go to your maths teacher, he will say, this is from chemistry. I won't do it. You go to your chemistry teacher. You are in a soup. If you do not understand how we can get this from here, 
you just have to memorize it blindly and when you memorize something blindly you do not remember it for long or you find it difficult to use this formula in the required situations so in this class let me teach you how we can get this by integrating this of dv by v now the next step is these are constants integration of dv by v so this gives us ln v definite integration so square bracket lower limit comes here upper limit goes there right I had taught you this I think you remember so after completing this course you'll be able to use calculus in your physics and chemistry subjects please also note that this course will not be sufficient if you want to learn calculus as part of your mathematics subject because in that you will have to learn calculus in much more details but for physics and chemistry this course is sufficient enroll for it immediately you will love it